So this is going to be a video about why you shouldn't lose your keys. Uh, yesterday, ran out of the house to go show a car over at the car lot. Uh, that was successful. They're probably going to buy it. But somehow in the middle of all that, my key chain for my plow truck fell out of my pocket. That also has keys to other things, but most importantly, the plow truck. And then... I couldn't find it last night, and I was like, yeah, you know what, I'll deal with it in the morning. I probably should have looked at the weather report before I decided that, because now we have, like, a foot and a half, two foot of snow that fell last night. And I need to use my plow truck, and I'm probably not going to find my keys in the middle of... It could be a possibly two different spots, somewhere at my house in the driveway, or anywhere on the property of the car lot, because I cleaned off cars that had, like, a dusting of snow on them yesterday. And who knows where those keys are. I've tried using a metal detector already. I've used a magnet on a stick that I like nailed a huge magnet to a stick and that still didn't work. Uh, I'm just going to have to go over to the plow truck now. Bring in some hammer, some screwdriver, some pliers, uh, some wire, some wire cutters in case I have the hot wire. I've done that before with other vehicles. Uh, and basically break the column and make it so the truck starts with a screwdriver. So, stay tuned, and I'm about to get there, and I'll pick up the video and start showing you how to do that. This is a 1992 Chevy Silverado. This is what your ignition key, uh, locking solenoid looks like, or whatever. Uh, like I said, I have no key, so my first step is to, I've done this on other cars, is... Hope that if I just shove a screwdriver in there, the tumblers are, like, shitty enough. If I hit it with a really big hammer, that it'll go far enough in and move the tumblers just right that I somehow get a one in a million chance, and it goes all the way through, and I can just use a screwdriver. Uh, we'll try that first. Oh, that broke already. Try a smaller screwdriver. Nope. Uh, next plan is since that's not going to work, uh, getting up underneath the plastic around the actual ignition cylinder where I can kind of crack it because I don't want to ruin all of this stuff because I like having a blinker if I have to I'll just not have a blinker but for the time being I like to have one so I'm gonna try prying this plastic away the best I can and expose the uh, ignition at this point, the the ignition popped out as I was moving the plastic around. Now, the next step is you figure out what mechanism in here did this turn. Most likely something to do with that groove that made it so that the steering wheel lock will shut off. Alright, so I've taken this handy dandy little hammer to the side here to expose it a little. Like I said, I left all of this intact the most I can. I uh, kind of chiseled away at the ABS plastic here on the side to expose how the mechanism works. I've never done this on a GM. So uh, after kind of looking it over and trying to feel where I can, uh, where the lock is to keep the steering wheel from turning so you can't steal it, uh, it turns out their system is super system, uh, like really simple. And uh, literally all you do is that little notch right here. If you turn it, it'll free the steering wheel. Just like you're turning the key, and it'll turn the, the truck over and start it. And steering wheel's free. That's how you do it. <laughs> 